welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my bridal makeup tutorial. This is the exact makeup that I wore on my wedding day. Just a few things changed, but this is essentially it. I actually had my good friend Eloise do my makeup on my wedding day. I went to high school with her and she has had tons of experience with makeup. She studied it, worked at MAC, she now works on TV shows. She is more than capable of doing just stunning makeup. I am so happy that I had someone do the makeup because I just know that it would have made me stress out doing my own makeup especially like today <laughs> I just had like a wing attack because I couldn't get them right today so you never know when that's gonna happen and if you are doing your makeup yourself on your wedding day congratulations you are amazing <laughs> for taking on that challenge just a quick fact my wedding day I was just completely chill I was so relaxed and so happy so anyway let's get into the tutorial now I have already prepped my skin by cleansing it and moisturizing it and using an eye cream and I know my makeup artist on the day did do that as well we cleaned my face off and she put everything on it again so I am going to be using the makeup forever height definition primer today I do know that she used a MAC one but I don't have a MAC primer and this would be my favorite primer that I have my best one I've also just applied some lip balm just because my lips are a little bit dry at the moment. Part of the prep is doing a lip scrub and I use the Lush Popcorn Lip Scrub. Putting on a balm after that is really important. So I'm just taking the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I am priming my lids with this. I'm going to prime all the way up to my brow and on the inner corner there as well. I'm going to set that with some loose powder so just over the top there. The first color that I'm taking is soft brown. All of the eyeshadows apart from one that I'll be using today are MAC. So I'm going to place soft brown on a fluffy brush and use it as a transitional color today. The first of many. Now I'm placing it a bit higher than in my crease, you'll notice. Next I'm taking wedge and putting that more so in my crease. And I'm taking that in windscreen wiper motions all the way down to the middle there, to the inner corner of my eye. Next up I'm taking cork and the same thing essentially. Okay, so now I've got my transitional colors in place. I'm ready to go with the main eyeshadows. Next up I'm taking brune. Now I'm gonna take brune all the way through the crease, just mark out that V shape there. I'm just going lightly with the motions, trying to get the everything positioned perfectly, and then I'll build up the color. And just back and forth in windscreen wiper motions, making sure that everything's blending out seamlessly. And a bit of circular motions on the corner there can help to have a further away mirror and then one up close so you can see what's going on from both angles. So you'll notice that I'm bringing that quite high up on my inner corner. It will look good when it's all finished but that's just the shape that um, my makeup artist went with. So now that I've made that quite deep, I'm going to go in with Satin Taupe which is the main colour apart from the lid colour and I deliberately have not used Satin Taupe in this palette yet because I was waiting for this moment. I've had this palette over a year. So I'm just going to place that over top of Brune. So at this stage, this is what it looks like. Now you'll notice it looks really dramatic and that's the look we were going for. I decided that I wanted a very dramatic look just to make sure that the makeup will definitely show up well in photography and everything like that. I'm just gonna softly blend that out. 
with a clean blending brush. I'm taking this colour here called Jest on the lid. And just filling in the blank space pretty much. And just touching back up with the darker brush that has um, the darker shadows on it. Now I believe a pressed pigment like Blonde Streak or Light Touch was used. I don't have one of them. I was tempted to buy it, but I like not waste my money. So I'm going to use the shade Kitten from Stila on the lid. For this one, I'm going to wet my brush with my MAC Fix Plus as I really want a foiled effect. And then I'm gonna just touch up again with the Satin Taupe and Broom. And that's essentially the eyeshadow. I don't think I really had any fallout, so that's okay, but it's good to prepare and do your eyes first, just in case you do have some fallout. You definitely don't want to ruin your face makeup on such an important day. The foundation used was the MAC Pro Longwear. I have the color NC35. I think she used a variation of shades, but I just have the one shade. I'm actually going to mix some liquid illuminator in with my foundation today. This is the Face of Australia Mineral Therapy Illuminator in Angel Mist. I really like the finish of the look. I don't think Eloise did this but I really want to and when I have the liquid illuminator on with my foundation, I like it so much better. My skin is like really glowing. So I'm just gonna dab that on a bit everywhere and I'm going to take the foundation on a brush. Make sure to blend down your neck. Make sure to get in your hairline there, just with like the least amount of product on your brush. So I've done one layer of foundation. I'm going to go in with a second coat because I like full coverage foundation. This is probably medium coverage. So this foundation is perfect for your wedding day as it doesn't have flashback. It, as the name suggests, it uh, lasts a long time on your face. So it will last all day, all night. It comes in a beautiful selection of colors. It comes in many, many colors. So you should be able to find your perfect match. It only has an SPF of 10, which does not provide flashback, which is perfect for any special occasion, really. I'm using this brush because it's clean, pretty much, and all my other ones are dirty. I have a video on my favorite foundation brushes, but this is the Real Techniques uh, Expert Face Brush. I'm then going to bounce my damp beauty blender around on my face to perfect my skin. And I know that Ellie used a beauty blender on the day as well. One of my favorite things about this foundation is it doesn't go streaky on my nose. So many foundations I own uh, don't settle well on my nose, but this one definitely does. I have a first impressions on this foundation if you're wondering. And just yesterday I tried out the Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation and I definitely recommend that for your wedding day as well. For my wedding day, I just wanted something that I knew was going to last on my skin and something that work works nicely with oily skin. Placing a little bit on my nose and cheeks just for a bit of extra coverage. Now I know that the light boost was used underneath my eyes to highlight, but I don't have any of that. I'm going to use my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW20. I'm going to place that underneath my eyes, down my nose, my chin, and on my forehead, just the usual places I placed it. I don't actually know if she placed it in all of these areas, but that's what I usually do. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I just blend it out with my finger a little bit first and then go in with the beauty blender. Just 
To set the conceal, I'm using my Stylus Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder in Natural. I know Ellie didn't use this on the day, but it's something that I know works for me and I feel confident when I do it. It also provides a little bit extra coverage. And I'm just going to really set around my nose and my T-zone area, just because I know that they're the first to go when, um, as the day goes on and my face gets a bit oily. So pretty much just where I placed the concealer. I'm going to lightly dust this translucent loose powder around the rest of my face, just to lightly set it. I'm going to give myself a spray of Fix Plus, which will help it settle into my skin. Now, I know Eloise used a brow powder or an eyeshadow actually for my brows, but today I'm going with what I know, and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. And I'm just going to fill them in with the dip brow. I did start to get them threaded a couple of months before my wedding and I wish I got it done earlier uh, but definitely work that into your planning and preparing so getting it waxed or threaded or whatever you choose to do so you have enough time to grow them out if you need to or get, get the shape changed or just maintain them. Now, Ellie made my brows on point on my wedding day. I was so happy with them. Okay, I'm gonna warm up my face with a bronzer. I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer, and I'm just gonna take some and go around the edges of my face, on my cheekbone, jawline. And this is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. So just lightly going around the edges of my face, warming up the complexion a little. Next up I'm taking my MAC blush palette and I'm using this shade here in Sculpt to contour. So just taking it underneath the cheekbones there, up to the ear, and blending it up. And just building it up until I'm happy with it. You want it to be dramatic but not too dramatic. I'm gonna put some up on my forehead here and down the side and also on my jawline. So there's one side contoured. You can see how much of a difference it makes. I'm gonna do my nose really lightly. And underneath the lips there and onto this side. I'm going to be mixing these two blushes together. This one here is Stay Pretty and Well Dressed, or it's the other way around, Well Dressed and Stay Pretty. I can't remember which one's which. And I'm not taking them out because I've taken them out before and I've like got nail holes in them. So I'm going in with the lighter one first. And as you can see, like it's very, very, very light. And then the darker one on top. and just on the apples and then blending it up. Now it's time for highlight and on the day I used the Bar Mary Luminizer. Just placing that on the tops of the cheekbones. Tip of the nose. Bridge of the nose. I'm going to take a bit of this Models Prefer Soft Touch uh, powder in Luminous Glow. I'm going to place that underneath my eyes just to brighten the area up. Okay, now it's up to the scary bit. I've got to do eyeliner. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go in with the Astralis Black Eyeliner. This is a pencil one and I'm going to do my tight line. I'm actually going to do the shadow on my lower lash line next. I'm going to go in with Satin Taupe. And 
And then I'm taking a little bit of brune on the outer corner. I'm taking Shroom as an inner corner highlight. And a brow bone highlight. I think she might have used Naked Pigment as a brow bone highlight, but I don't have that. And just blend that in there. We actually put a lighter color in my waterline, but I'm going to put black in there today. I know Ellie used the MAC Black Track Gel Eyeliner, but I'm going to use my Model Co. one today. I actually bought the MAC 263 brush, so I might give it a go today. Probably stuff everything up though. That is exactly why I had someone do my makeup on my wedding day because now my wings have turned out too thick and too big and I can't do anything about it. I just like literally had a tantrum attack so. Next up we've got mascara. Today I'm using the CoverGirl. This is the Lash Blast Length water resistant and it is not water resistant but this is the uh, best one I've got at the moment. Now I'm applying mascara to my top and bottom lashes like I always do. Okay, in this case I'm just going to wait till it dries and then flake it off. I am going to use the Red Cherry Wispy Lashes today. Now I did use these lashes on my wedding day and I had my bridesmaids wear the Demi Wispy Lashes from Red Cherry. I chose these because I didn't want anything too dramatic and I really love how like long and flirty these ones are. Okay, I have the two MAC lip liners in Hip and Happy and in Sync. And I'm going to outline my lips in Hip and Happy. Then I'm going in the middle with In Sync. Now the YSL Rouge Redoubt lipstick in number seven. Mine's a little bit damaged. And then my Buxom Full Bodied Lip Gloss in Ooh La La. So this is how my makeup would look fully done with my hair. Um, obviously I've inserted pictures and everything like that for you to see, but I'm so happy that I've been able to do it myself. I didn't think that I would and I really put it off like over a year because I didn't think that I was capable, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. In saying that, I still would have a makeup artist and hairstylist on the day. So that is it for my bridal makeup tutorial. Honestly, wish you all the best for your wedding day. Mine was just magical and I know that yours will be as well. It's such a special day so remember to take in every single moment. Oh my gosh I'm getting emotional. <laughs> anyway before I get too into it thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye! I'm just gonna do that. I had to film my makeup and didn't work because I got to the eyeliner and I don't know why I was so stressed and I still am